Hello and welcome to our instructional series of videos. In this installment, we're going to show you how to install the OWC U.2 NVMe interchange into an OWC Mercury Helios 3S enclosure. We've already gathered our materials and are working on a soft static-free surface. We're now ready to begin. The first step is to loosen these two thumb screws on the rear of the Helios until they spin freely. You can then remove the outer shell and set it aside. In order to fit the interchange, you'll need to remove both thumb screws and the slot cover. In the PCIe slot, there's a small pin near the front. This corresponds with the notch in the interchange's PCIe connector. Line the two up and push the interchange into place until it's fully seated. Replace the two thumb screws to secure the rear of the unit Then use the included Phillips screw to secure the tab along the bottom of the interchange. Finally, slide the inner chassis back into the enclosure so that all edges are flush, then tighten the thumb screws. Now we're going to install a U.2 drive into the carrier tray. The connector on the drive corresponds with this connector on the carrier. Slide the two together, making sure the drive is flat in the carrier. Flip the carrier over and secure the drive at these four points using the Phillips screws that came with the unit. The drive and carrier are now ready to be used in the interchange unit. With the OWC logo facing up, simply slide the carrier into the interchange unit and lock it into place with the key. To switch drives, make sure the Helios enclosure is disconnected, then unlock the carrier with the key and slide it out of the interchange unit. You can then insert another drive into the carrier, lock it into place, reconnect it to your computer, and use it as before. 